Hello, this video will review how to create websites using Google Sites. These websites might be used particularly for online portfolios because they're not tied to any specific Gordon account, so the students would be able to use those beyond their time at Gordon once they graduate for things like career portfolios um, just to show their best work. Your first step before you actually start creating your Google site is to log into your Google account or to create a Google account. And this is because you want to have access to your Google Drive, which is where you're going to upload your different files um, that you might link on to your Google site, things like Word documents, PowerPoints, things like that. So you want to go to Google and then you want to choose Sign In. And then you can pick the account that you already have and that you already use maybe because if you already have a Google account you're welcome to continue to use it for the project or you might choose to use another account. And then from there you can um, log into that account or you can choose to create another account. And then you can choose to make one via a Gmail or if you already have a, a non-Gmail account that you would like to use, you can say use my current address instead and then create one from there. After you do this, you just want to make sure to log into your Google account. After doing that, you can actually access lots of Google products up here in the top um, corner under the Google Apps. So you have things like YouTube, you have things like your Gmail, um, you have things like your Google Drive, which we'll talk about more in a second. You have things like Google Docs, um, Google Slides, which are the PowerPoint version, um, lots of different features here. So what we want to do first is to go to our Google Drive. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and upload any files that we might use for our um, portfolio. So things like our resume, um, our PowerPoints, things like that that we want to share. And so to do that, we'll just choose new and you can upload a whole folder if you want to or you can upload individual items. So once it's uploaded, you do want to make sure that the sharing permissions are correct for everyone to be able to see it. So then you would want to click on the file and you would want to see that this case it's not shared so that others don't have access to view it. So I want to change that. So I can right click on it and I can choose share and then I can change the sharing settings. So here I want to change it to anyone with the link. So this is going to allow anyone with the link to this uh, document can see and view it, which is what I want if I'm going to put it on my portfolio. So you would want to continue this process for any files that you have that you would like to be in your Google Drive that you'll then be linking onto your website. So now we're ready to create our actual Google site. So we'll come back up here to the um, tab and we'll scroll down. And if it's not located in here, if Google Sites is not loca located on here, you can choose more from Google. And then if you scroll down to the very bottom, it will have a, an extensive list of all the Google products. And one of those will be something called Sites, which is what Google calls its website creator service. So then I want to choose to create my first site. Now here I can choose to pick from a template if I want to, or it's easy enough to start from scratch. The first thing I encourage you to do is to pick your theme. So notice on the side you have different toolbars that you'll be using. You'll use insert the most. This is where you're going to insert things onto your page. Then you have your pages, which is where you'll manage if you have more than one page here. If you're managing multiple sites, you'll be able to link those and have those managed here. And then you have themes, which is where and where I would start because this is where you're going to pick the color and the overall look of your site. Um, so notice here you can change different colors. Um, you can have, and it's mainly just looking at the overall um, look of your site that you're able to edit. So once that is selected, we're ready to start editing our page. So you want to give your page a title. And notice when you make any edits to any type of text box in sites that it looks very similar to like a Word document. So you have um, different sizes you can make them, different text boxes, different um, fonts, bold, all of that information right there with you. You also want to give the site a name. Now this is just the title of the site. You might choose to give it a different name, especially if you're going to be doing something like um, a portfolio. You might actually want to have your name in portfolio in the title. So when you choose title site, it's going to automatically name it this. Now you can choose to change that if you want to, but this is the official title of your website at this point. 
Now with just about every um, background within Google Sites, you can change into different images. So I can change the image here and I can choose to upload an image or select an image. And I can pick from a gallery that they have. Um, I can search on a uh, search within Google to find one or if I have one stored in my Google Drive which is what we talked about earlier uploading all your files and resources there before you start your site to make it a little bit easier on you you can use that so then you would pick your image and it will try to make it fit in the area that you have selected so now before we uh, move on and, and continue to add things to our site, let's go ahead and publish it because the first time you publish it, it's going to allow you to put in what you would like the title of your website to be, which is going to affect the URL. So keep in mind you want this to be easy, simple, and predictable. If it is a portfolio, you probably want to have the word portfolio in it. Um, so this is where you would do this. You can only edit this the first time that you save it. So you want to make sure that you have this in mind before you actually publish it because you won't be able to edit it. So we're going to go ahead and publish that. And now our website is ready to go. Now at any point, even as you're going through the editing process, you can send the link to someone. You can get the link right here. And this is now the live link to your website. Also at any point, if you want to see how your live website is looking, you can choose preview. And it will allow you to see it in a on a laptop version, as well as how it would look on a tablet, as well as how it would look on a mobile device. And so just to kind of give you an overall idea of to how, as to how your site is actually going through and looking um, as you build it. So next we want to go ahead and start adding in different information. So if you um, are in, in a hurry or you're not really great at how, how uh, de deciding how you want things to lay out, you can choose different layouts here. Um, so you can just grab those, slide those in, and then it's already set for you to put in your information. So this is a image box. So you would click this and choose to select an image. You can choose to upload from your computer, select one from online, or upload it from your drive. Again, if you have already put these on your um, Google Drive ahead of time you'll just be able to pull it from there. Next you can add in your text. Now what we might choose to do is on our insert tab area to add in a button and this can be used for um, if they you want them to click on something maybe click on this button to email me or that type of thing. So in that case, you would fill out what you would like the button to say, and then the, the button would be located here. And we can move that button around, uh, which is what's great about Google Sites, is you can very easily move all of these things around very easily, um, and it will be located right there. Another option is to add something like an image carousel, which is really great if maybe you are displaying artwork. So if you choose that, you upload the different images that you would like to use. And we can even choose to add text to these if we want to. And so these can be sort of like captions on the images. So we'll insert that in. And we can choose to resize it as much as we like. Because again, remember that's a great um, element of Google Sites. Now keep in mind that depending on the size of the image, you might be limited as to what size you can make it. But this is what the image carousel looks like. So essentially the uh, individual will be able to click through the different slides here at the bottom to move through the different images. Another option might be a map. So I would search the location of where I would like the map to show on my website select that and then embed that in and then of course I can move that over if I want to to be located elsewhere um, on my web page. Other useful tools in this area might be YouTube videos to where you can embed a YouTube video as well as a calendar to where you can embed a calendar. But let's go back up at the top and let's add in another text box. And notice that it added it here and I might want to make like a header for this section. So just like before with the other headers, I can change the text, I can change the sizing, and I can also change the background. I can choose a regular background or I can actually upload an image here 
to have as the background of my header. What's also great about Google Sites is you can move things around on your website pretty easily. So say that I would like for this header to be located below this other section, I can simply grab it and drag it and it will drop it exactly where it needs to go. So now down below, let's put in a YouTube video. And I can either search it right here with on YouTube and it will embed right here within my site. Now keep in mind that I can move this around as much as I like because all of this is sort of free floating if you will. The next thing I would like to include is a document from my Google Drive that I uploaded earlier. So I can choose Docs and then it will actually load all the documents that I have access to within my Google Drive and I can simply choose it and insert it in and it will put it right here for me. So I can then move that around and the document is right there for them to view. Now it's very, very, very important when you're pulling in documents or when you're pulling in other things from your Google Drive to make sure to publish it and go back and view it as if you were a um, not logged in as you as if you were an outside viewer because if you had not fixed the share permissions on this um, document for everyone to be able to view the, the outside group will see um, no access given on this. They'll see that there's a block here but they won't be able to see what it is so that's very important. So at this point we'll go ahead and publish it and what's great is it also lets you see what was in your draft as well as what is currently being published so you'll be able to see the differences between the two. And we'll go ahead and publish it and then we can go ahead and get the link or we can go ahead and view it and preview it as to see what it would look like. Keep in mind you can pull in other things from your Google Drive other than documents by choosing Drive here and then you'll be given access to all the different things in your drive and you'll be able just to drag those over as you like. There may be a time when you really just want to put in a regular web link instead of pulling in a document that can be viewable and take up a lot of space. So you can just put in regular web links or regular links to different documents online and you can just do that using the regular text box. So you would just type in your text and then you would choose the link button and then you could just drop in the web link to a website if you wanted it to link to another website or if you wanted it to link to one of your Google documents that we uploaded earlier into our Google Drive. We would just open a new tab, go back to our Google Drive, find where our document is located right click on it, make sure that the sharing permission again is set to where anybody can view it and then we would just want to copy that link. Then within our portfolio we're able to just paste in that link and instead of the, the viewer viewing the whole document right within the website itself, they'll just be able to click on the link and then the document will open in a new tab. So same means, um, different means to the same end. It's just however you feel most comfortable looking, uh, doing it based upon the look of your website. So those are the main different things that you'll do on your Google site and keep in mind that you can move things around anywhere as much as you want just by dragging and dropping them. And then keep in mind that as you build new pages that you have these options um, to kind of help you start in the process of laying out your website. So lastly, I want to show you how to go about building additional pages. So this is all just on one page. So what if I want to link to other pages in my um, web page? For example, I'm doing this teaching beyond the classroom. This is all just introducing myself page. Maybe I want links to, um, you know, my reading artifacts, my math artifacts, my history artifacts, things like that. I want um, different pages. So you would want to come to the pages tab here and you would want to add a new page and then you just give it a name and it's automatically going to create it right here. So we have our home page which is the page that we have been working on thus far and then we now have our reading page and then I could just go on and create a math page if I want to and so we can create these pages and you can drag and drop them around in order. Um, Google Sites is also great that it automatically makes you a nav bar. Um, depending on the theme that you pick, it might be on the side or it might be at the top for your different pages. 
If you wanted to make a very advanced page, there might be in cases to where you might have like a history link, but then you want additional pages under history. So in that case, you can choose to, uh, beside the name of the page, you can choose to add a sub page, and then this one might be specific for, you know, world history. And then you might add another page, and that would be specific to American history. So it's important to note that you'll still have a history page that you would still put content on, but then underneath it you would have a world history, American history, these separate um, sublink pages. And notice on your um, on your nav bar, you have for the main pages you have links, but then for the history, the sub pages appear as a drop down. And again, that's cases if you're making a very advanced page. So next you would just continue to edit these pages as normal by dragging and dropping your different um, information pieces on them. Um, it's by default auto saving in your Google Drive, but you do occasionally want to publish it to make sure that all of your um, files are being saved and all of your edits are being saved. And again, the last uh, thing that, that I want to mention is how to get the web link again. And you can just do that by coming up here and getting the web link, copying it, and then sending it out to others. Now, this is dynamic, so you could already have this link sent out to other people. And you say, oops, I made a typo, or oops, I want to add another picture. You can come and edit it even after the link has been sent out. And just the next time they go to the page, it will have updated that information. And so that is how you create a Google site. Um, and again, make sure that you do have everything uploaded into your Google Drive first so it's easy just to drag and drop them in.